this is a, this is actually 20 minutes fast this is am i've just baked these hey you i don't know so i've been thinking I don't, I don't know. about intuition and instinct and trauma responses and ptsd when your brain and nervous system connects something or some place or some smell or some sense to a traumatic experience it makes sense that that sense or thing would fire off fight or flight responses like anxiety fear and discomfort for instance after a car accident it would stand to reason that someone would be afraid to get back into a vehicle there are so many unique situations that have similar results Define instinct. As a noun, instinct means an innate, typically fixed pattern of behavior in animals in response to certain stimuli. Do you want to hear the remaining one? Yes. Instinct is a formal term. As an adjective, it means imbued or filled with a quality, especially a desirable one. Instinct is the inherent inclination of a living organism towards a particular complex behavior containing both innate and learned elements. What is the meaning of instinct? An act or course of action in response to a stimulus that is automatic rather than learned. It's a cat's instinct to hunt, a way of knowing something without learning or thinking about it. to wait a natural ability he has an instinct for making money is it intuition or is it a trauma response intuition is inherent it's built in it is not learned trauma responses, those are learned. Those are coping mechanisms developed to protect you. I don't know that my instinct, my intuition, I don't know that I can even hear them right now because I've got so much fear and anxiety to work through first. And to be honest, that is comforting. Makes things a little less confusing. If I can just, if I can just accept that all the things I'm feeling towards these uncomfortable situations, <laughs> um, if it's just fear and anxiety, um, well then I'm still gonna do it. I'm not not doing something just because I'm afraid. In some cases, in many cases, later on down the line, we have to challenge our trauma responses. I have to. I'll just keep it about me. I have to challenge old coping mechanisms. And um, I have to face fears and I have to get uncomfortable because avoiding situations that have hurt me in the past so as to not let them hurt me again uh, it makes sense in, in certain situations definitely learn from my mistakes and won't put myself in certain situations again but when it comes to love when it comes to trying again um, working towards my dreams taking risks in my career, I absolutely have to. It's just so uncomfortable and it is so scary. It's messing with my head, it's messing with my sleep. I don't know that I have an intuition to hear just yet. I think that it's, it's still recovering. And I think that what I'm hearing, the only thing I'm hearing is fear. Um, brain, I appreciate.
appreciate you, I appreciate it, but you need to stop. Brain and I have been struggling lately, hence the uh, 4 a.m. cookie baking and um, long walks before sunrise. I've been presented with situations and opportunities that make me excited and fill me with lots of good feelings, all the dopamine, but also so much fear and so much discomfort and anxiety, and I know why. The thing is, when we are in this state, we're tired, we don't think straight, we ruminate, I ruminate, and logic goes way out the window. And all I can think is that this this tightness in my chest and this weight at the pit of my stomach and this fog in my mind, this is this has to be intuition. This is a sign. This is a I need to run. I need to hide from job opportunities, from a crush, even from myself. When I look in the mirror, I don't feel like she's me. I haven't adjusted to her yet, and that scares me too. But none of these things are bad. I get why they're scary. I understand why they're scary. But I'm um, to figure out tools and ways to um, remind myself that this isn't intuition, this is fear. And then to look at that and, and talk to myself and reason with my unreasonable brain and work towards a little reprogramming so I can let go of those tools that I no longer need.